Hey guys, hey internet, come and watch us draw and talk Salvador Dali. Welcome back to day 27 of 30 days of drawing dead people, aka turning celebrities and historical figures into zombies. Anyway, if you've been enjoying this series so far, thank you for tuning in, and let's just get onward to the doodle. <laughs> so, Salvador Domingo Felipe Jacinto Dali y Domenech. First Marquis of Dali de Pulbo, otherwise known as Salvador Dali, was born on May 11, 1904. He was a Spanish surrealist artist renowned for his technical skill, precise draftsmanship, and striking and bizarre images in his work. Born in Figueres, Catalonia, Dali received his formal education in fine arts at Madrid. Influenced by Impressionism and Renaissance masters from a young age, he became increasingly attracted to Cubism and avant-garde movements. He moved closer to Surrealism in the late 1920s and joined the Surrealist group in 1929, soon becoming one of its leading exponents. His best-known work, The Persistence of Memory, was completed in August 1931 and is one of the most famous Surrealist paintings. Dali lived in France throughout the Spanish Civil War from 1936 to 1939, before leaving for the United States in 1940, where he achieved commercial success. He returned to Spain in 1948, where he announced his return to the Catholic faith and developed his nuclear mysticism style, based on his interest in classism, mysticism, and recent scientific developments. Dali's artistic repertoire included paintings, graphic arts, film, sculpture, design, and photography, at times in collaboration with other artists. He also wrote fiction, poetry, autobiography, essays, and criticism. Major themes in his work include dreams, the subconscious, sexuality, religion, science, and his close personal relationships. To the dismay of those who held his work in high regard, and to the irritation of his critics, his eccentric and ostentatious public behavior often drew more attention than his artwork. <laughs> his public support of the Francoist regime, his commercial activities, and the quality and authenticity of some of his later works have also been controversial. His life and work were an important influence on other surrealists, pop art, and contemporary artists, such as Jeff Koons and Damien Hirst. There are two major museums devoted to his work, the, the Dali Theater in Figueres, Spain, and the Salvador Dali Museum in Florida. In 1968, Dali bought a castle in Pulbo for Gala. And from 1971, she would retreat there for weeks at a time, Dali having agreed not to visit without her written permission. His fears of abandonment and estrangement from his longtime artistic muse contributed to his depression and failing health. In 1980, at the age of 76, Dali's health deteriorated sharply, and he was treated for depression, drug addiction, and Parkinson-like symptoms, including a severe tremor in his right arm. There were also allegations that Gala had been supplying Dali with pharmaceuticals from her own prescriptions. After her death, Dali moved from Figueres to the castle in Pulbo, where she was entombed. In 1982, King Juan Carlos bestowed on Dali the title of Marquis de Dali de Pulbo, Marquis Dali of Pulbo, in the nobility of Spain, Pulbo being where Dali then lived. The title was initially hereditary, but Dali's request was changed to life only in 1983. In May 1983, what was said to be Dali's last painting, The Swallow Tale, was revealed. The work was heavily influenced by the mathematical catastrophe theory of René Thom. However, some critics have questioned how Dali could have executed a painting with such precision given the severe tremor in his painting arm. From early 1984, Dali's depression worsened and he refused food, leading to severe undernourishment. Dali had previously stated his intention to put himself into a state of suspended animation, as he had read that some microorganisms do. In August 1984, a fire broke out in Dali's bedroom, and he was hospitalized with, with severe burns. Two judicial inquiries found that the fire was caused by an electrical fault, and no findings of negligence were made. After his release from the hospital, Dali moved to, to the Torre Galatia, an annex to the Dali Theater Museum. 
There have been allegations that Dali was forced by his guardians to sign blank canvases that could later be used as forgeries. It is also alleged that he knowingly sold otherwise blank lithograph paper, which he had signed, possibly producing over 50,000 such sheets from 1965 until his death. As a result, art dealers tend to be wary of late graphic works attributed to Dali. In July 1986, Dali had a pacemaker implanted. On his return to his theater museum, he made a brief public appearance saying, When you are a genius, you do not have the right to die, because we are necessary for the progress of humanity. In November 1988, Dali entered the hospital with heart failure. On December 5, 1988, he was visited by King Juan Carlos, who confessed that he had always been a serious devotee of Dali. Dali gave the king a drawing, Head of Europa, which would turn out to be Dali's final drawing. On the morning of January 23, 1989, while his favorite record of Tristan and Isidol played, Dali died of heart failure at the age of 84. He was buried in the crypt below the stage of his theater museum in Figueres. The location is across the street from the church of St. Pierre, where he had his baptism, first communion, and funeral, and is only 450 meters from the house where he was born. Anyway, that's just a little bit about Salvador Dali. He is one of those incredible artists that I've admired over the years, especially his eccentricness um, with him coming out of, um, I think it was a New York City, I'll never forget this photo, with Anteater, his Anteater pet, and I'm like, artist goals am i wrong anyway um if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button down below and subscribe to find out who we end up drawing next and turning into a zombie and if you know any fun facts feel free to share them down below i really love learning about those things i will say going to the salvador dali museum in st petersburg florida is definitely on my bucket list of things i want to do eventually when this crazy shenanigans is over Anyway, I hope you guys are doing awesome. That's pretty much it. Bye. Whatever it is that you believe you're seeing, it's not, 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 not real. Seeing things before they happen. Things are not always what they seem in this place. Sadly, you can't take anything for granted.